China's inner Mongolia province hasn't seen a good harvest in years. But local farmer Ha Sagawa is surviving after switching from crops to livestock. I can afford my daughter's tuition fees now, she says. Hasegawa changed her business by borrowing $750 through Wokai, a microfinance charity run by 26-year-old American Casey Wilson. Wokai matches online donors with aspiring Chinese entrepreneurs, from a tailor sewing traditional clothing in northern Inner Mongolia to dumpling makers in Sichuan, southern China. Then they repay the capital and you get to support someone new. While studying Chinese in Beijing, Casey was inspired by a friend, a restaurant worker who was trapped in poverty, earning just $100 a month. The only differences between her and I was that I was born in Oakland, California, and she was born in, you know, rural China. Casey's inability to help her friend led her and co-founder Courtney McColgan to launch Wokai when they were just 23. They funded 500 microloans in China so far, and that's just the beginning. China's economy is booming, but there's still plenty of poverty in a country where 470 million exist on less than $2 a day. So Casey Wilson and other young Americans operating their own nonprofits in China have a huge need to fill. Arizona native Tom Stater started his nonprofit, The Library Project, with just $500 in donations soon after moving to China in 2006. Thank you. We almost went broke four times in the first two years. Our donors just rose to the challenge, and they, they saved us. Using old and new books, Tom's team has built 320 libraries in rural classrooms like this one in central China's Shanxi province and in underfunded schools like this on the fringes of Beijing. We can see the outside world via books, explains this boy. An entire library costing just $1,500 can be a life changer. Some children here have never seen a book with color pictures before. Sometimes I don't even feel hungry as long as I'm reading, says this girl. An encouragement for Tom. I think we're at 75,000 children right now that have access to books. While many come to China to take advantage of its growing wealth, young Americans like Tom and Casey are aware that not everyone's getting rich. They're eager to help those people to bloom as well. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing.